What is going on everybody? Broken Mike here and welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another edition of BUW. This ladies and gentlemen is of course the go home show, the final stop before Battle of Champions next week. And we've got some huge matches, we've got a very unique uh, Battle Royal coming up for you later on in the show and of course we are going to fill the final few slots for the card here this evening and we're going to be kicking things off with a Fatal 4 weight elimination match and the winner of this match will receive a United Kingdom Championship match against the current champion Josh so let's dive into it So of course if you do happen to enjoy this video then make sure to hit that like for Mike, leave some comments down below and of course most importantly do not forget to power slam that subscribe button if you haven't already done so and make sure to tap that notification bell that way you will know when I next upload or go live. And we are live from Blackpool, England once again. And oh, look at this, folks. Who's this? Is that? That is Jamar Games, ladies and gentlemen. He's got a brand new entrance and he's arriving in style. I recognize one of those, that sort of car. We've seen him before in the past. Of course, I think a certain uh, late great Eddie Guerrero drove one of those uh, cars the into the arena. Is a fatal four-way match, making his way to the ring from New York, weighing in at 200 pounds. JT. Listen to this crowd. So guys. Jamar, who has as well as had some this tremendous success already here in BUW, really has picked up some big wins. But he's look, he's looking for that breakout moment. He's looking for his uh, first championship. But he's knocked off some pretty big names already, including TM. And also Rick, most recent out, and he took the current Intercontinental Champion, the Minion, to the limit. Will tonight be his night? Will he get the next title shot? And his opponents. From England, weighing in at 215 pounds. Well, a big time. And speaking of the UK champion here, Josh, here comes his uh, best friend be Will. Cause a uh, part of Two Bit Gaming. What happened? I'll be interested to see if uh, Will wins this match. And he will go on to face his best friend for that championship. Now that would be an interesting match. I wouldn't mind seeing. From Ireland, weighing in at 160 pounds, DJC. 
Guys, this one now here comes a young man who uh, has amazing. had an opportunity at the UK the Championship quite recently. Though in this case, he did I face Josh uh, a number of weeks ago for the Championship. Uh, in, uh, of course, he failed to catch the Championship that night. But he's got a second chance to get another match with the current champion, Josh. Can he do it? Corey, when it comes to in-your-face action, it doesn't get much better than these guys. Yeah, well, we might see a rematch like between Josh and Cadigan, that's for sure. To prove that here tonight. Some bright young talents here in BUW. And of course, we've also got some very talented, experienced ones as well. Here comes... The free time, BUW World Champion. And from Georgia, weighing in at 208 pounds, Matt. Guys, I hope you're ready because it's now time Matt, for fatal the four way action. More world title reigns in uh, BUW than any other person. Styles will have it play here tonight. Of course, he come close to uh, winning a recent battle royal to get a UK title match. But of course, he was uh, eliminated the ring by really the eventual winner, Cadigan. Michael, that's a product of him understanding so the will uh, discipline Matt get his chance? It, at, get his first opportunity at the UK Championship. He will if he can outlast three other superstars here tonight. One of the nicest young men you can meet outside the ring. But when he's inside the ring, he's all business. So all four of these superstars are ready. And here we go. But just first off, wanna, yep, eliminations are on. Just wanted to double check, folks, because you know what this game is like. So, yeah, this match is now officially underway. Will and Matt. Squaring off, and we've got an interesting face off with Cadigan and Jamar. Jamar and uh, Cadigan, two of the young up and comers, you'd have to say, in BUW. Both have got bright futures, have had some great matchups. Well, it's never against each other one on one. But that could be a potential match down the line, you never know. Oh, wait a second. Matt Moody inside Cradle. And he nearly eliminates Will. Nearly the first elimination. We've got Cadogan and Jamar on the outside. Of course, there are no countouts or disqualifications in this matchup. Cadogan sent into the still steps. Matt Moody. Control of Will inside the ring. Wait a second. Will breaks free with some elbow shots. Will landed on the uh, ring apron and Matt signaling a gunshot as a target. And there's a running knee from Will. the counter Irish whips are not going up uh, going opposite sides and look at the counter there from Cadigan Cadigan rolls out of harm's way we're with a snap me a boot to the face combination sending Jamar to the outside so we're left with uh, Will and Matt Moody on the inside or we've got a chase on between the the, the uh, oh hang on a second Cadigan right back in there squaring off with Matt Moody Love to see them two go one on one after Cadigan pulled off one of the biggest upsets in BUW history. Wait a second, Jamal with a cover on Will. 
two count. Will stays alive. Toss to the outside. Paddock gets sent over the top rope. Oh, down goes the referee. Vintage BUW right there, folks. The referee taking a bump. Snap me a takeover. Uh, look at that. Jamal right back to his feet from that from the snap me a boot to the face combo. We'll deliver another boot to the face to Jamal. There's a bulldog to Kagan on the outside from Matt Moody. And driving the knee into the face of Jamar. Did Will and Jamar with a counter. Left hand there from uh, Jamar and while Kadigan gets sent to the still steps once again. Can run Great agility there. Anticipate. Oh, Will. Perfectly. Will with the block. Straight punch. Oh, look out. Skull crushing finale from Will. Yeah, you don't see a slam like that very often. Referee count. And Jamar has been eliminated. So we're down to three, ladies and gentlemen. We're down to Cadigan, Will, and Matt Moody. One of these three men will get the next opportunity at the UK Championship next week at Battle of Champions, which will be live here on the Broken Mike channel. We have the left hands. Irish whip. There he goes. Crashing. Get sent over the top rope. Oh, look at look at Cat again. I think he's got he's got Matt Moody right where he wants him. Can he do this? Six, one, nine. And that could be it, folks. Cadigan looking to eliminate Matt Moody. And he does. Matt has been eliminated. We're down to two. So, who will it be? Will Cadigan get another shot at Josh's UK Championship? Or will it be Josh's best friend, Will, from 2-Bit Gaming? One of these two men will get the next shot. Cadigan with the arm drag. And look at Cadigan go there with a release suplex. And Cadigan... Lining up his prey, we know he's going for here. Oh no, wait, oh, no, I thought he was going to go for the Cadigan KO, but instead, he's going for the walls of the Cadigan. Will Will be able to survive this? We've seen the likes of Aiden Gemini tap to this very hold. But Cadigan, I, I do not understand his logic there, he released the hold. And the comeback is on. The shoulder tackles. Sends over Cadigan. Lands on the apron. Goes to the top rope. Will get a turn round. Look out. Double axe handle. Unbelievable. Oh, and he's going for it a second time. Will's in trouble. 619. And this. Should be there. And Cadigan gets a second opportunity at the UK Championship. So he will get a rematch. What a fatal four way. Cadigan proving once again that size doesn't matter. Outlasting three others. So it's going to be Cadigan versus Josh once again at Battle of Champions. And once again for that UK Championship. Will Cadigan this time be able to pull it off? Will he get the job done next week?
Congratulations, Cadogan, the new number one contender to the United Kingdom Championship. Tremendous start there, folks. And it's just going to keep getting better from here on out. Because next up, we have got a clash of number one contenders. Because in this one, we're going to have Girl Gamer Resi. And she's going to be taking on Ray Killam. Of course, Resi, the number one contender to Danny's International Championship. And Ray Killam, of course, number one contender to the BAW Women's Championship. Of course, is getting her rematch. Of course, these uh, two clashed in uh, tag team competition quite recently. And uh, Resi was teaming up with Wendy on that occasion. And... Rezzy and Wendy got the win on that night. Can Ray get the win here tonight? Can she get some revenge and send a message to Wendy going into next week's pay-per-view? So here comes a lady who's currently in a best run of form lately. And uh, of course looking to capitalize next week. Keep that run going and win her first championship at the Queen's expense. Can she do it though? Can she, but can she knock off former women's champion here in uh, Ray here this evening? And then go on next week to capture the championship off Danny. All questions will get answers to in the coming moments, I'm sure. And from Sacramento, California, Ray! Here we go. This is the match a lot of these people came to see. And here comes a young lady who is looking to bounce back from her recent setback. She was on an absolute tear in BUW. She won six successive pay-per-view matches before running into Wendy. And she hasn't been the same since. And what about you, Corey? Do you like her chances here tonight? Lost a championship uh, last month at Summer Bash, looking to win her second title doubt, uh, next week. Can she do it? That's a question. Uh, right now, she's got to get her head focused in the game and try and get the win over Rezzy here and now. This is it, so guys. here we go. We're going to get this match going. You Collar and elbow tie up. Level of these women, you just know it's going to be a great match. Who's going to get the better of the opening Working exchanges? Right over the headlock. Oh. Ah. Irish whip from Ray. Snap yes. suplex to Rezzy. Rezzy, of course, uh, the first Belgian-born superstar in BUW. Nice Looking to win her first championship next week against Danny. Locks in the gut Been really wrench. impressive in recent weeks. A quick finish. Oh, right, looking for, for a quick, uh, an early finish, but I think she gets a, I think she gets a one on that one. 
but Rezzy is a powerhouse. And that is just shown right there with the reverse suplex. Slamming Ray to the mat. And there's a frost kick. Watch this here. And look at this. Oh, a net breaker. A, a very unique version of that. Rezzy has Ray up in a torture rack position. Will Ray be able to withstand this? She is. She's a, she escapes from the hold. But that is a very painful maneuver. Another snap suplex from uh, Ray Killam. Irish whip. A counter from Ray. Delivering a bulldog. Goes into the cover. Just a one count. Ray, of course, as well, is an accomplished author as well. So she's very successful outside the ring as well. Plenty of hits coming her way now. She still has a lot of time to recover, though. And Rezzy, though, seems to be uh, in command of the match. Delivering a splash. Finds a way to reverse. Ray with a counter. No, Rezzy delivering an arm drag. Oh, oh, what a right hand. That really did not race loopier than a oh, pet coon, as the saying goes. There's a wheelbarrow slam. She's been on the offensive for a little while now. Really taking control Ray would here. Catch the leg of uh, Rezzy. Turning things round. Now, look. Now stomping a mud hole and walking it right. Oh, and Ray fl uh, flips the bird on Rezzy and delivers a stunner. And that, folks, has to be that. No, it isn't. I was expecting that hand to come down for the third time. But Rezzy had other ideas. I can't say I've seen anyone kick out of the stunner before. But Rezzy's just done it. It just shows how far she's willing to go and look... The, the impression she's trying to make. She may have underestimated the opposition she faced tonight. What a match between these two young ladies. And Rezzy, the power again. A version of the glam slam drops Ray on her face. Changes her fortune there. Ray with a clubbing blow. Delivers a knee to the ribs. And again, Ray stomping a mud hole in Rezzy. Snap suplex. Goes into the cover. And another near fall for Ray Killam. And he scores a two count on that occasion. Snap me. No one home for the kick. Rezzy delivers a snap mirror of her own and follows up with a boot to the spine. Rezzy looking to bring Ray back into the ring and does so successfully. And Rezzy's not shying away anymore. She's coming out of her shell, you have to say. And look out. Alley up. Could Rezzy be about to uh, defeat a former BW Women's Champion? Oh no. Ray with the counter. And Ray with Storm Zero. And it's over. But what a match. What a match. Ray bounces back with a win here tonight. 
as uh, both ladies look to go into their respective title matches. Ray uh, sending a message to Wendy, no doubt. Then, despite the loss, Rezzy shows she's not going to be a pushover when it comes to facing Danny for the international championship. Great match, great action here tonight. I oh, thought Rezzy had it there with the alley up. But Ray is back on the win column. Will she be back on the win column again next week as she seeks her second BUW Women's cha uh, Championship? We'll have to wait and see. So we've got time to have one final match in uh, this opening part of uh, BUW. And this one's going to be very interesting. Mind you, there's lots to say that any of these matches aren't interesting indeed. Every match in BUW is interesting. So next up, we're going to have... Jackson Oak, as he looks to continue his momentum after defeating the current global champion, Deer not too long ago. And he's going to be taking on the other man that he will be facing for that title next week, and that is TM, a two-time global champion. Of course, Jackson and uh, TM both fighting for that global championship. TM looking for his third reign as champion. Jackson looking for his first. Of course, Jackson is still looking for his first singles title after accomplishing great success in the tag team division, a former tag team champion, going on his own uh, here tonight. And I've said this young man, Jackson, has got all the tools to become BW's next big thing. To me like Jackson Oak ready for this one. So my, my God, has picked up waves of momentum long, long in the recent weeks. And like I said, most notably, most recently, defeating the uh, know, current global so champion Dio, 1-2-3, in that ring. Not just for himself, but his opposition as well. Of course, will he be able to do it when the title's on the line next week? It's Jackson and TM both want that title of course uh, Dio and uh, Jackson had a fantastic encounter uh, a couple of weeks ago and like I said that was a five star matchup And here comes one of the most unique superstars in BUW history. He's certainly got one of the most unique entrances in BUW history, that's for sure. Very ominous indeed. TM looking for his third global championship next week as won countless championships. He's won the United States Championship, he's won the Hardcore Championship, and of course he's a 
former tag team champion as well. Looking to win another championship next week. But can he get the job done? And his opponent from Baltimore, Maryland, weighing in at 267 pounds, T.M. Myers. Guys, we have two of WWE's most exciting superstars ready to square off here. And there's nothing to like the, the ring with that. Superstars settling in, in very intimidating lantern. Action, Michael. Cameraman getting a close-up view of it. Oh, well, I'd say if I was a cameraman, I wouldn't get too close to that thing. Remember, folks, TM hasn't always had this dark side about him. He was a very chilled out guy. Just hanging out, competing in that ring, wearing his straw hat and his flip flops. But that's the old TM. And this is the TM we've been accustomed to seeing for the past year. Looking to send a message to the current global champion Dio, who I'm pretty sure will be watching this somewhere. No and here we go, this match is underway. Team coming right at Jackson with a pump handle again. slam. This is gonna be good. If you have and now he's choking now, out the former tag champion. These guys are gonna have a match you'll want to watch over and over again. Oh, I think Tim could just be frustrated that uh, Jackson has been able to beat Dio and, and he hasn't. Amazing Jackson Reflex looking to get another win here tonight. Beautiful suplex. Of course, uh, his former buddy He's in the shift ace bomb that went ugly on when they're separate ways. Oh, look at that downward spiral. Downward spiral on the outside, folks. Jackson sends TM crashing into those steel stairs. Of course, T, uh, sorry, Jackson and Nace, but are still friends uh, outside the ring, but of course, inside the ring, they've, they're mutually parted ways, but still, like I said, they still hang out with each other, so that's, that is that is really one. awesome. Dragon Whip really from uh, Jackson, TM, he's just relentless. As I said, this changing attitude in the last 12 months this is gonna be a has been match. paramount. Ooh, what impact. Ooh, TM has got a more aggressive size. To be fair, he's been more successful since he uh, changed his ways somewhat. Right to the gut. Of course, you could, he, Jackson's got to be wary of that mandible claw that could come out of nowhere. And there's a uh, float over DDT. An incredible range of emotions here. See, I'm no looking to bring Jackson back inside next. and Bam, does so successfully with a suplex. And see him going to the this top rope. We're not accustomed to seeing him go to the top. And hits a splash. He's knocking the wind right out of Jackson yeah, Oak. Goes into the cover. And he gets the Just gets a one Not count. TM, a little bit stunned, you have to say. Big. Jackson with the net breaker. He's climbing the turnbuckle. Will this pay off? Jackson top rope delivers the elbow drop to the lower back of TM. Another net breaker. Jackson coming into his element now. Drops TM with a DDT. Jackson a very skilled ath athlete and he's just shown again. He delivers a super kick. 
Drop toe hold into the ropes and drops the knee into the back. I think Tim's going to have a lot of back problems after this match. Standing moonsault from Oak. Goes into the cover. Just a two count for Oak. A third net breaker from Jackson. Proving his worth so far. And Tim again choking out Jackson and delivers a headbutt. Cover. Just a one count, says the referee. I feel like I said, I think I'm going to be in for a treat when, the, when these two challenge for the, for the Global Championship. And there it is, the Dude Buster. And Oak gets another win. And I think you have to say Jackson Oak is thoroughly deserving of his opportunity coming up next week. He's knocked off the current global champion, Dio, and he's just knocked off a former global champion in TM. He's, he's on a roll here, Jackson. Can he do it when, the, when it matters, when the title is on the line next week at Battle of Champions? I think to me will be people will be surprised if that ha outcome happens. And TM is not in a good place right now. He's suffered multiple losses in recent weeks. He must have got thinking himself what he's got to do to get back on track. So Jackson wins again, and will that be the sight next week when Jackson? And Jackson, Tim, and Dio clash for that global championship. Of course, uh, it will be a huge moment for this young man if he does it. If he does it again, pulls it out of the hat. And now, believe in this kid. He's got a bright young. He's got a bright future in front of him. Congratulations, Jackson Oak. Another big win there. So that, folks is all the time I've got for you in uh, this opening part of BUW but I hope you've all enjoyed it if you have then make sure to hit that like for Mike if you did and of course make sure to drop some comments down below and do as well make sure most importantly of all hit that subscribe button power slam it if you have to and make sure to tap that notification bell that way you'll know when I next upload or go live and of course you won't miss any BUW action like this. So, the action, as I say, it's just, just beginning folks. It's far, far from over. We've got plenty more to come your way. So, hope you can join me for part two, guys. So, I've been your host for this one, Broken Mike. And I'll see you all in a little bit. Part two of this week's Go Home Edition. BUW. I'll see you all there.